Okay, what we have here is the optical side of my 60 watt 445 nanometer laser. Let's see in there, that's the spot. That's what we call a Jacob's ladder. A bunch of mirrors in there directing 24 in three rows of eight. 445 nanometer 2.5 watt laser diodes to a single point which comes down to about here the focal point um, inside at the back up here are all the diodes they all face into it mirrors here comes down to a lens into another lens to a focal point and then out so what we're going to do is this piece of wood we've got here I'm going to uh, that in the focal point of the lens and we're going to see how quickly these diodes running at about probably uh, 50 to 60 percent of their power so we're going to be running about 36 watts of output of a potential 60 watts we're just going to see how quickly these things will burn through at 36 watts worth of power I'm going to switch this on and it's blue in a second they'll fire up to their full power Oh, not full power, actually, to about 60%, 50-60% to 60 power. The fans kicking in there. Here's our laser beams. A little bit of dust in here. Here's the little beams there. All the beams go all the way out to there, to the ceiling. So let's get our piece of wood. Make sure the GoPro is recording, which it is. Our piece of wood here. I'm going to stick that into the focal point, which is right about there. I'm going to try and hold it as still as possible. Right at the focal point. Watch how quickly. Don't try this at home either. This is very, very dangerous. You get one of these laser beams in your eye and you'll lose an eye instantly. Just straight away, instant bang, loss of eye. I've been playing around with lasers, well, using lasers for many, many years. And I treat them with the utmost caution. You should be using 445 nanometer safety goggles too. So I'm just going to stick this in. Watch this will really quickly just burst into flames. I'm going to really hold it still. There we go. Flames straight away. You can see that it's burning. Very shortly. You will see coming out the other end a black dot and a red glow and lasers all the way through. Yeah, there's our black dot starting off here then. Flames coming out the other side and fanned by the cooling fans. The lasers will poke through any second. quite charcoal here. There we go, there's a spot. There's the laser beams coming right out the other end. Oh, a bit of wood's actually being mangled. I think it's completely frizzled the wood. <laughs> okay. Have a look what we've got. There's the glow. Nice bright glow. Can you get that to focus on that? Light. Take a look there and see what's going on. Inside, other side. Right see how bright the dots are on the other end there. They're not even focused properly up that end. They could be collimated a lot better actually. So that's what 35, 36 watts worth roughly of laser diodes. Capable of 60 watts running at full power. I've got a few little modifications to do yet before I run them at full power. I'm going to put some surge protection across them to make sure I don't ever pop any of the diodes because I don't know, I'll have to replace them. Like I said, this is very, very dangerous. You don't want to get one of these lasers in your eye even for a split second. You won't have time to blink. It'll wreck your retina, burn your retina completely before you even have time to blink. These lasers, every single one of those beams, 
lethal to your eyes. There we have it. 